Qualitative chemical analysis is a branch of chemistry that deals with the identification of elements or groups of elements present in a sample. The procedure that is usually followed is based on the principle of treating the solution with a succession of reagents so that each reagent separates a group of constituents. The groups are then treated successfully with reagents that divide a large group into subgroups or separate the constituents singly. When a constituent has been separated, it is further examined to confirm its presence and to establish the amount present, that is the quantitative analysis. Portions of the materials are dissolved separately and different procedures are used for each to detect the cations and anions. In this edition, we will be looking at identification of cations, that is positive ions. Examples of cations that we'll be looking at here are aluminium, calcium, lead, zinc, ammonium, copper, ion 3, and ion 2. The two successive reagents we will be using here, and in this particular order, is one sodium hydroxide and two ammonium hydroxide. We will first use sodium hydroxide followed by ammonium hydroxide. All right, our first test solution contains aluminium. The first test solution contains aluminium. And just like I said earlier, the two test reagents are sodium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide. So we will first use sodium hydroxide. First, we'll add it to a solution that contains the aluminium ion, first in drop, and then we will add it in excess. For sodium hydroxide, if you add it in drop, a white precipitate is formed. And then if you add it in excess, white precipitate becomes soluble in sodium, excess sodium hydroxide. That's all for sodium hydroxide. And now we'll go to ammonium hydroxide. When you add ammonium hydroxide solution to a solution that contains aluminium, first it will form a white precipitate. And if you add it in excess, it will form a white precipitate insoluble in excess of the ammonium hydroxide. Now, let's look at the recall symbol. The recall symbol here read A-L-S-I-N. It can be pronounced as alsin. Alsin. Now, this simply means that aluminium, which stand here represented by Al, is a white precipitate with sodium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide. It is soluble in excess of sodium hydroxide. This S represents soluble and insoluble in excess of ammonium hydroxide. So if you can write this down as a student, alsin, of course, that is a recall tip for aluminum, which is a white precipitate, soluble in excess of sodium hydroxide and insoluble in excess of ammonium hydroxide. Let's move to the next one now. Calcium. Calcium is the next ion we're going to deal with here. Now, effect of adding aqueous sodium hydroxide calcium ion to a solution containing calcium ion, a white precipitate is formed, just like aluminium. Now, in excess of sodium hydroxide, white precipitate is insoluble in excess of sodium hydroxide. Now, let's see effect of ammonium hydroxide solution on solution containing calcium ion. No visible reaction, whether in drop or in excess no visible reaction in this process. Now let's look at the memory recall symbol. Let's look at the recall symbol. is Ca, which is calcium, which is a white precipitate, and In, which is 
mean which means insoluble in excess of sodium hydroxide and these two hyphen dash here present that no visible reaction in ammonium ammonium solution sorry no visible reaction so if you can write down cane it gives you a recall tip to this process here where calcium forms a white precipitate IN stand for insoluble in excess of sodium hydroxide this two hyphen dash means that no visible reaction last let's move to the next one now which is lead lead also forms white precipitate with both sodium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide but let's see whether the white precipitate is soluble or insoluble now in excess of ammonium sodium hydroxide the white precipitate is soluble and in excess of ammonium hydroxide the white precipitate it's insoluble is insoluble now let's look at the recall symbol now which spells pbsin pb stands for lead which is also a white precipitate in these two reagents and then s stands for soluble in excess of sodium hydroxide in stands for insoluble in excess of ammonium hydroxide so if you can just write this down pbsin lead sing or something like that then you have got a recall to this test process white precipitate lead soluble in excess of sodium hydroxide insoluble in excess of ammonium solution the next one is zinc zinc is similar to the previous ones but here zinc it's soluble in both sodium hydroxide in excess of sodium hydroxide and excess of ammonium hydroxide zinc also form white precipitate but it is soluble in excess of sodium hydroxide and soluble in excess of ammonium hydroxide so this memory recall shows that zn stand for zinc s stand for soluble in excess of sodium hydroxide and the second s stand for soluble in excess of ammonium hydroxide so if you can just write zn ss zinc i don't know whatever you call it zinc whatever you pronounce it but zinc gives you a memory tip to the fact that in this process in this test process zinc forms a white precipitate soluble in excess of sodium hydroxide and also soluble in excess of ammonium hydroxide the next ion we'll be looking at here is ammonium ion this is a very unique reaction because in this reaction no precipitate is formed no precipitate in all the two test reagent ammonium ion does not form any precipitate so if you're carrying out a reaction in a test tube and after adding sodium hydroxide in drop and in excess no precipitate is formed you now pick the second reagent which is ammonium hydroxide and then you add it no precipitate is formed either in drop or in excess then the clue is you suspect ammonium ion okay we are finished with white precipitates we're now moving to colored precipitate the first colored precipitate that we have here is copper copper forms a colored precipitate and the color here is blue copper forms blue precipitates with sodium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide now let's see sodium hydroxide in drop when you add it to a solution containing copper ion it will form a blue precipitate in excess of sodium hydroxide the blue precipitate is insoluble in excess of sodium hydroxide it also form a blue precipitate in with ammonium hydroxide in in drop and the blue precipitate is soluble in excess of ammonium hydroxide let's look at the memory recall now that is c u i n s c u i n s c u i n s which means copper of course you should have it at the back of your mind that copper forms blue precipitate and then is the blue precipitate is insoluble in excess of sodium hydroxide and the blue precipitate is soluble in excess of ammonium 
solution. Okay, now let's move to the next one now. We're now in the category of colored ions. So copper forms a blue precipitate. Just keep watching it. It will always recall in your mind that copper forms blue precipitate. Let's move to the next one now, which is ion 2. Ion 2 here forms a green precipitate. Green precipitate. So when you add sodium hydroxide to a solution that contains ion 2, it forms a green precipitate. In excess of it, the green precipitate is insoluble and so excess sodium hydroxide. In ammonium hydroxide is also a green precipitate and in excess of ammonium hydroxide the green precipitate is also insoluble and that inform this recall symbol here you have fe2 plus as ion 2 and in square which means insoluble in both sodium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide so if you can just write this formula here fe 2 plus of course fe2 plus is ion 2 and always have it at the back of your mind that ion 2 forms a green precipitate green green precipitate and in square here means insoluble in both the sodium hydroxide solution and ammonium hydroxide solution so just watch this very carefully when you watch it carefully your memory we capture that ion 2 forms a green precipitate. The green precipitate is insoluble in excess of sodium hydroxide and insoluble in excess of ammonium hydroxide. All right, the next one now is ion 3. Ion 3 forms a reddish brown precipitate in both sodium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide solution. Here, Ion 3 is also insoluble in excess of sodium hydroxide, just like just like that of ion 2 is insoluble in excess of sodium hydroxide and is also insoluble in excess of ammonium hydroxide. Now ion 3 is reddish brown, just like the color of rust ion. The color of rust ion, one of the best ways to, rem to remember this is the color of uh, rusted iron. So the recall symbol here says Fe3 plus um, IN square. That means IN square stands for insoluble in both sodium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide. Ion 3 is reddish brown in color, just the color of a rusted iron. All right, let's go through a summary of it now. If you can write down all these formulas, if you can write down these formulas, then you have passed you have passed your exams in qualitative analysis involving identification of cations. Aluminium, which stands for Al3 plus, alcin. Alcin here means that aluminium stands for Al, and um, um, S stands for soluble in excess sodium hydroxide and insoluble ion stand for insoluble in excess of ammonium hydroxide please note there note here that the order of our test reagent the first one is sodium hydroxide and the second one is ammonium hydroxide if you alter the order of our test reagent this formula becomes invalid so the same pattern calcium ca2 plus cane is the recall symbol here ca stands for calcium in here means white precipitate of course you remember white all these cations form white precipitate white precipitate insoluble in excess of sodium hydroxide this hyphen stands for no visible reaction in ammonium hydroxide solution so the same thing applied to lead 2 plus lead pb stand for lead s stand for soluble in excess of sodium hydroxide and in stand for insoluble in excess of ammonium hydroxide for zinc zinc zn stands for zinc is soluble in excess of sodium hydroxide and soluble in excess of ammonium hydroxide and of course all these all these ions form white precipitate all of them form white precipitate for ammonium ion 
no visible reaction it's very easy to recall no visible reaction copper forms a blue precipitate forms a blue precipitate blue precipitate is soluble in excess of um, sodium hydroxide and soluble in excess of ammonium hydroxide next the next one is iron 2 plus which forms a green precipitate insoluble in excess of sodium hydroxide and a green precipitate also insoluble in excess of ammonium hydroxide and so the recall memory here is Fe2 plus of course um, Fe2 plus we know is green precipitate and it's insoluble in excess of sodium hydroxide and insoluble in excess of ammonium hydroxide so the IN the square here stands for insoluble in both of them IN square so if you can write this formula down IN square already you have a memory chip already so Fe3 plus stand for ion 3 and in the same way ion 3 is reddish brown reddish brown color the color of rusted ion if you can remember that good and then it's insoluble in excess of sodium hydroxide and insoluble in excess of ammonia solution so ion square here stand for both of it both of them are insoluble in in sodium hydroxide and ammonia ammonium solution so this is memory tip memory recall for qualitative analysis for all these ions i hope this helped you as a student to pass your exams thank you